got to know John's family, Uncle Danny and the cousins. Uh, I lost my place when I went to look at Uncle Danny. And they accepted me just like I was one of their own. John always said that the next year we should just skip buying tickets because I only cared about the pregame anyway, and that was probably true. Around this time, Scholar and John were introduced by Mario, and the romance began to blossom. It was actually at a Ravens game when I realized how serious John was about Skylar. John was getting ready to buy a house and move in with Skylar. And after a few beers, he let it slip that he knew they were going to get married. I think John probably knew this from the very first time he met Skylar, although he held out for a few years to keep her in suspense. After Baltimore, I moved up to Boston for the summer, and John, Mario, and Skylar came to visit me. I knew John was planning on asking Skylar to marry him the next week at Martha's Vineyard, and the anticipation was killing me all weekend. It shows what a trusting friend John is, as I have a tendency to become a bit chatty after a couple beers, and even I was so scared I was going to spill the beans. Luckily I didn't, and the engagement went off without a hitch. John, if I could look back at sixth grade me, I couldn't think of a better guy to marry my sixth grade girlfriend. <laughs> and Sky, I once asked John, prior to dating you, what he looks for in a girl. His response was coats, cleaning, loyal. And while I think that he found all three of these attributes in you, I know he found many, many more. As you've been a great friend to me over the years, always putting up with my shenanigans when I come home. Your laughter is contagious, even when your jokes are not, which is many times, but I still can't help but joining in laughing with you. You both complement each other in more ways than one, and I think anyone who's spent time with you can feel the love that you have for one another. I hope you both have a lifetime of happiness and laughter together, and I can't wait to continue crashing on your couch for the next 50 years. Here's you. Great job, ladies and gentlemen, JR.